Hi everybody and welcome to what is going to be the last in our series of wonderful world videos where we have been getting to know God more and worshipping him through exploring science and nature. So before we carry on, let's pray today. If you remember the words and actions to our prayer, then you can join in or you can just have a listen. That's fine. So, Creator God, we are in awe of all that you have made. Help us to know you more through the glory of your wonderful world. Amen. Now, I have got something quite special to show you today. Did you know that I can do magic? No? Well, take a look at this. Now, I've got a magnet here on the table. Now, uh, normally magnets are attracted to metal, aren't they? I'm sure lots of you knew that. But um, this magnet is magically attracted to my hand. Take a look at this. See if I wave my hands, it is moving with my hand. That's amazing. Are my hands made of metal? Well, no, they're not. I'm not Iron Man. Um, I don't think my rings have got that much metal in them, but somehow, magic hands moving the magnet. Well, you might have guessed I'm not actually magic. Played a little bit of a trick on you there. I wonder if any of you guessed how I did that. Well, the truth is that I have got squirreled away under the table another magnet, keeping it in its uh, little bag. This is a really super, super powerful magnet. And this is what I have been using to move the other magnet around. And it's so powerful, this little round magnet, that it's really hard <laughs> to get off there. That is a super attractive magnet. Now here's another interesting one for you. I've got a, a bottle of liquid here. Looks a bit like um, ink, doesn't it? It's a, it's a kind of dark blackish sort of liquid, blackish brown. And uh, you might think it looks very ordinary and uninteresting. But what happens when I get my super strong magnet? Can you see that? The liquid is actually attracted to the magnet. You can see it rising up at the back there just there you go. So, of course, you've probably guessed that this is no ordinary liquid. This is obviously a magnetic liquid, which is also called a ferrofluid. And, uh, of course, this has clearly got magnetic properties, hasn't it? So it must have some sort of metal in it somewhere. Well, that's true. This uh, liquid contains really, really teeny tiny magnetic particles um, that are contained inside the liquid. And so it behaves like a metal in being attracted to the magnet. Fascinating stuff, isn't it? Well, we are thinking today about magnets and what attracts things to them and I bet most of us have probably had to play with magnets at some point haven't we you've probably got some magnets stick stuck on your fridge like I have and you've already figured out that it's metal that attracts magnets but you know the bible tells us that as Christians sometimes the faith that we have will attract other people but sometimes, just like a magnet, when you try and um, put two wrong ends of the magnet together, sometimes people will be drawn away from us. They will not want to know us because of our faith. This is what Jesus had to say about this. 
So this is Matthew 5 verses 11 and 12 and this is what Jesus has to say. People will say bad things about you and hurt you. They will lie and say all kinds of evil things because you follow me. But when they do these things to you, you are happy. Rejoice and be glad. You have a great reward waiting for you in heaven. People did the same evil things to the prophets who lived before you. It's strange to think, isn't it, that the things that we do out of our love for Jesus and because we're friends with him and because we try to live our lives like Jesus wants us to, the same things about that will make some people attracted to us and want to find out more, but will make other people angry and um, uninterested in what we have to say. Jesus is reassuring us that that's normal and that's okay. But most of all, that we should continue to stand firm and to follow him. And you know, the truth is, we can't control how other people react. All we can do is be the best followers of Jesus that we can. And you know, sometimes even those people who are angry or uninterested in our faith might years later suddenly remember something and be drawn to Jesus in a new way. And we might even never know about it. But God is at work always and we can trust in him. So be encouraged and it's great, isn't it, when we do things uh, that people are interested in and that people clearly see the love of Jesus through. But don't be discouraged if they don't. So stand firm and be the best follower of Jesus that you can be. And like our amazing magnets today, I pray that many people would be drawn to Jesus because of what they see in you and me. So maybe as a way of continuing to think about that this week, you could find a magnet in your house, maybe pull one off the fridge and uh, why not go around the house and see how many magnetic objects you can find. You might be surprised. Maybe some things that you thought were made out of metal aren't, and maybe some things that you didn't realise had metal in them uh, would be attracted to your magnet. It'd be really interesting to know what the most unusual thing you found that was attracted to your magnet. We're going to have a song before we go now. And again, let's use this time to worship Jesus and thank him that we are invited to be his friends and followers and that people may know him through the things that we do. We are God's workmanship Made in Christ to do good works for him In our lives to be an offering Lifting His name up high We are God's workmanship Made in Christ to do good works for Him In our lives to be an offering Lifting His name up high Chosen from before the world was made Chosen to declare and sing His praise Chosen and equipped to do the will of God today We are God's workmanship Made in Christ to do good works for Him In our lives to be an offering Lifting His name up high The Spirit's fire To be filled with resurrection power Chosen to reveal the love of God in our lifetime For we were made for such a time as this For we were made for such a time as this For we were made for such a time as this For we were made for such a time we 
by God's workmanship Made in Christ to do good works for Him In our lives to be an offering Lifting His name up high We are God's workmanship Made in Christ to do good works for Him In our lives to be an offering Lifting His name up high We are God's workmanship Made in Christ to do good works for Him In our lives to be an offering Lifting His name up high Lifting His name up high Lifting His name up high Awesome. So before we finish, let's pray together today. Creator God, thank you for your wonderful world. Thank you for all the things that we have learned and understood about you through your creation. Help others to know Jesus through the things that we do. Amen. Have a great week, everybody, and have lots of fun with your magnets. And don't forget to let us know what fun things you find out. Bye-bye.